Glad you made it. Come on in. Hi, I'm Jim Bentley, a sixth grade teacher in the Elk Grove Unified School District and now a National Geographic Certified Educator. Elk Grove is south of Sacramento, California, and is 49 square miles of suburbs and farmland with over 160,000 people speaking more than 80 languages. For my capstone project, I wanted students to explore the issue of climate change through multiple perspectives and on various scales. I used the National Geographic Learning Framework to select key attitudes, skills, and knowledge on which to focus. What began as a series of classroom activities turned into a project transforming students into teachers and filmmakers. Because climate change is such a big topic, I wanted students to make a personal connection to it. Our first activity introduced students to the power of images and storytelling through the work of Joel Sartori and PhotoArt. Knowledge revolved around critical species. Students learned when global ecosystems change, there's a ripple effect in all of the ecosystem's populations. Communication was the skill emphasized. Students explored photos and videos and discussed and wrote about how these different media can affect the message and move people to action. I extended this by having students read articles from Newzella tech sets I had created, aligned to the National Geographic Learning Framework, and build their own mini photo arts using Weebly, a free and easy to use website builder. Students harnessed the attitude of curiosity as they explored the philosophical ideas behind protecting critical species and they felt empowered, giving a voice to the voiceless. Diego was so moved by the struggle of black bears that he researched and found a nonprofit organization to hyperlink to the website he built. Our second activity launched our exploration into the science of climate change. Because big issues in life don't always come with a syllabus or textbook, I again focused on the learning framework skill of communication. We started with a lesson on summarizing and paraphrasing scientific information. Students used a hyperdoc I built to navigate portions of NASA's Climate Kids website. They viewed film clips from National Geographic's Years of Living Dangerously, which I enhanced with Edpuzzle to make the viewing experience more interactive. And students used ListenWise, a listening skills platform featuring podcasts and public radio news stories to connect kids to the world outside the classroom. Demonstrating media literacy by analyzing, evaluating, and discerning which media to use or reject is an essential skill in today's 24-7 news cycle. As students learned about the science behind climate change, they deepened their knowledge of our living planet and saw how human activities impact Earth's living things in a variety of ways. But what good is knowledge without action? The National Geographic Learning Framework attitude of empowerment was at the core of this second activity. Our city's integrated ways coordinator visited our classroom with a proposal. Would my students produce films educating businesses about a state law requiring organic recycling to reduce greenhouse gas emissions? The answer? Yes. To do this, students had to switch perspectives. Climate change had to be viewed as more than an ecological issue. From a political perspective, students learned laws can be made to regulate behaviors that generate greenhouse gases. And from an economic perspective, students realized trash is in the eye of the beholder. One person's organic waste is another person's biodiesel or animal feed. And from a cultural perspective, students saw how excess food could be diverted to our food bank to address hunger in our community. Production began with students working in teams of four, reading about a California Assembly Bill 1826, they scoured the web for information on organic recycling, and they read widely to build background knowledge about climate change. Students emailed questions to our city's integrated waste department and local businesses. They chose film locations and wrote and revised scripts. And when city officials approved the writing, students recorded voiceovers and started filming. We visited pig and chicken farms, breweries and restaurants, construction sites and grocery stores, community green belts and school cafeterias to film B-roll. Back in class, the task of editing began by matching words on a page to imagery on a screen. After weeks of hard work, students completed seven films that will be featured on our city's website and shared by our Integrated Waste Management Department regionally and nationally. The National Geographic Learning Framework, coupled with a geographic perspective, empowered my students to explore a global issue, climate change, and do something about it on a local scale. I'm proud of my students. In their final reflections, a common theme emerged. Diego shared, we as students can teach others what's right. And Yulia shared, I love the idea of kids teaching adults. It annoys me how sometimes they don't listen to us. 
But this project is sure to get our voices heard. The environmental challenges we currently face were not created by the students in our classrooms today, but I'm confident they'll be the ones with the attitudes, skills, and knowledge to find the solutions we need.